Hi, I'm Lake Speed Jr., Total Steel Piston Rings, and we're back here at Shaver Specialty Racing Engines on the dyno to answer the question, do piston rings affect engine temperature? The answer to that question might be surprising. We have over a thousand dyno pulls on this engine with a 0.7 millimeter, 0.7 millimeter, 2 millimeter ring package. That's been the baseline package on this engine for the last couple of years. So we know really what this engine does. We have a very good baseline of what engine temperature is with a given viscosity oil, a type of oil, and engine speed and load. So we can run this engine, for example, at say 3,000 RPM with about 75 foot-pounds of load on the motor. We know that at 3,000 RPMs, and 75 foot-pounds, we know that with a 10W40 mineral-based oil, this engine is going to run about 170 degrees water temperature and about 280 degrees oil temperature. We know that because, again, over a thousand dyno pools, over two years of testing on this engine, with that package, we know what it does. It does it repeatedly over and over again. Well, the guys at JE Pistons helped us out and said, hey, we want to see how these gas-ported rings actually work with a thicker ring package, say a traditional 16th, 16th, 3 16th ring package. We said, sure, we happy to do that. So they got us some pistons. Of course, being a total seal, we can do the rings. So we got some rings that are traditional standard tension, 16th, 16th, 3 16th, put them in with the pistons, and we ran them in on the dyno yesterday and we were running that engine in we instantly saw the oil temperature was coming up faster the water temperature was coming up faster and that was like hmm that's different this engine's never done that before check to make sure everything was good no everything's fine cleaned out the filter in the water system okay got make sure the water flow checked everything out started running it again sure enough water temperature comes up a little bit faster oil temperature comes up a little faster and the question is, why? The simple answer is friction. The number one source of friction in any internal combustion engine is the piston ring against the cylinder wall interface. Highest source of friction? Piston rings. So, by going to a thicker ring package, that 16th, 16th, 3 16th, versus a 0.7 millimeter, 0.7 millimeter, 2 millimeter ring package, Bigger, thicker, higher tension rings mean more friction. No different than rubbing your hands together. If you only rub your fingers together like this, not a lot of friction, not a lot of heat. But if you rub your hands together like this, a lot more friction, a lot more heat. What happens with that extra heat? It goes into the water, it goes into the oil, which is why we saw on the dyno yesterday the increase in oil temperature increase in water temperature compared to the baseline is because the higher friction generated by the thicker higher tension ring package generated more heat so let's begin to interpret the data received from the day's test with the 16th 16th 316th uh, ring package through the lens of what we know this engine does with the 0.7 millimeter, 0.7 millimeter, 2 millimeter ring package. So the first thing that jumps right off the page is a huge difference in horsepower. Over 20 foot pounds and over 20 horsepower average. Now, those numbers seem huge. Well, you gotta remember, over 40% of engine friction is from the ring package. We're not seeing a gain in horsepower from the 0.7 millimeter ring. No, we went from a 0.7 millimeter ring to a 16th ring and we lost over 20 horsepower average. Now, what's really interesting about this isn't just the horsepower change. What's really interesting is that for the same engine speed, same load, same amount of time, and cooling settings, this engine ran 
considerably hotter. So hot, in fact, that the sticker, the decal, on the oil filter started to peel off. We've never seen that. As a comparison, you can see the filter on the left is the 0.7 millimeter ring package. The filter on the right is the 16th ring package. You can see the 16th ring package ran so much hotter that the sticker, the decal, started to shrink up and want to come off. Now you're saying, wait, that's not a fair test because the water temperature and the oil temperature weren't the same as the 0.7 millimeter ring test. And you're right, it's not. But you have to remember that in your car, it's not the same as the dyno. You're not controlling the water temperature and the oil temperature the same every time. For the amount of speed you're running and the load you're putting on the engine, the water temperature and the oil temperature are going to go to where they run would naturally level out based on those conditions. Which is why, in reality, there is some fairness to this test because for the same speed, 3,000 RPM, same load, 75 foot-pounds, we end up 30 minutes later at completely different temperatures because of the increased friction from the thicker ring. Now, let's see what that holds if you had the same water temperature and the same oil temperature. Now, what you can see is there's still a difference in power, not as great, but still a difference in power. So, no matter how you look at the data, the fact is the 16th ring generates more friction, which robs power and generates excess heat. The thinner ring package does a better job of reducing friction, which reduces heat, also increases engine efficiency. And because we have over a thousand dyno hits on that 0.7 millimeter ring package in this engine, we also happen to know it doesn't fall off. It's not like, oh, I gained horsepower, but I lost durability. Nope. Reality is that 0.7 millimeter steel ring with the PVD coating, because of that coating and the ring material are so much more durable, it can outperform that cast iron ductile molly ring better over time, better material, better hardness, better design, less friction, longer life. So another way of thinking about piston rings isn't just about raw horsepower. Sometimes it can be about durability, which is why when we were doing durability testing on this engine, that's why we chose a 0.7 millimeter, 0.7 millimeter, 2 millimeter ring package. Because if you're going to do 8 to 10 hours of durability testing on an engine, that level of running, that length of time, you need to generate the least amount of friction possible, not just for power, but for Cooling. Cooler running engines make more power, they're more consistent, you have less problems, you know, coming out of bearings and spring and everything else. So, next time you think about piston rings, think about engine temperature as well, because as we proved, reducing ring tension, reducing ring friction also reduces engine temperature. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching.